Assalamu alaikum Habib Bati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts. You want more than warning, you get more than warning. Not because you asked for it, but because I really like the warning. So I'm gonna use you as an excuse to do more than warning reactions. This is Disciple Live at Teatro Metropolitan from 2022 i was gonna say last year but no it's the year before because we're in 2024 baby remember to like comment subscribe turn on the bell notification support us if you want to by leaving a super thanks down below if the video allows it or by joining us over on patreon where you get access to all of our blog videos some vlogs we get to have some awesome conversations and you pretty much get to decide where this channel is headed ole 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 Wahiet Emme, Wahiet Emme. If she doesn't get listed on like top 10 drummers of 2024, I'm gonna freaking have a fit. Like this woman, the way she plays the drums is second to none. Listen to that, man. I gotta say this. So, um, the the previous th the previous videos I've reacted to, they've all been younger than this, and the last one I reacted to was the the Foo Fighters, the Pretender, the one they did that, and they were like, I'm gonna say average age twelve or thirteen. But now listening to this, and they were amazing in that, they sound a hundred times better than what they sound like in that video, even though they sound insanely good in that video. And it's so nice to, to observe this progression, this improvement of them just, and it's not like this, it's like this, you know? It's insane how much better they've gotten when they were already so much better than anything else around them. Like just, just Danny, I think her name is, as a singer, my God, how much better she's gotten. Yeah. <laughs> you know how hard it is to play the drums and sing? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know how hard it is to play the drums and sing? Like right here. <laughs> she's not playing like just a standard 4x4, four four, you know? She's, she's, I'm Tatia. She's juicing it up. She's really, like, it's complicated.
They're so tight, man. They're so tight. They are so tight. Look at that. Wow. Let's start with, like, what does it mean when you say they're tight? What does that mean? It means that individually, they're exceptionally technically avid. Like they know what they're doing. They've mastered their instruments, not just technically, but to be able to play things with a specific sensibility, you need to have taste. You need to know that it's not just about playing the right notes on the guitar or the bass or even playing the right things you want to on the drums, but it's about how you're playing it. You have to be very tactile, you know? It's, and that gives emotion to the note that you're playing that's different than someone that's just technically avid. So they've got the technical skill set perfected. Mizu'in, they have that tastefulness. They know how to interact with their instrument on a fundamental level that creates this emotion that they're able to bring forward. Add to that, the third and most important layer is how well they know each other as musicians. Forget that they're sisters. It's about how well they know each other as musicians. They trust each other to the nth degree because they almost complete each other musically. I know what you're gonna play right now. I know exactly what you're gonna play, so I'm gonna complete you by playing my bit. And that's how it flows in there. Whether they're doing harmonies, whether it's a drum part, whether it's, it's a riff on the guitar and the bass is accompanying it, every single thing they're doing and it's all happening in real time. And it's so wonderful as a musician to watch because it's such a rare quality to see people that not only are so technically good at what they're doing, not that they're so tasteful with their musicianship, but the fact that they complete each other. This is a perfect band. That's what makes a perfect band. And they are absolutely a perfect band. It's an incredible thing to watch and to know that there's a documented history of how they went from where they were to where they are and where they're going. Yeah, Habibi. Like that excites me. That excites me. I always worry that worry. I always worry that rock is, is not doing as well as it was when I was coming up. And man, does this make me feel better because I can trust that 
No, it's alive and it's kicking. It's going to keep kicking. And, and they're going to build albums that have different genres in them because they can. They're going to experiment and we're going to listen and we're going to enjoy it. And then they're going to create something that probably never existed before. And that's going to be something else. Earlier in the video, I was talking about how pow, I'm going to call her pow pow, how, how hard it is to sing and play drums, right? What she was playing in that part when she was singing wasn't the most complicated bit, but it requires attention because as the drummer, if you slip up even once, the whole band is, is, is going to collapse. Everything you're doing will collapse. So it's about maintaining time. It's about playing the stuff with the right energy while being able to sing very difficult. It wasn't easy what she was playing, but it wasn't overly complicated. But if you want to even sense how difficult it is, um, just try doing this. I want you to take your left hand, put it on your chest and do this. Make a circular motion. And I want you to take your right hand and I want you to beat up and down. Can you do this? Can you do this consistently? And now I want you to start singing, right? Uh, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow. If you can do that, Let's see how much time it takes you to actually do this. Circle, up and down, and try and sing along with it. You don't have to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't even know why I was singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's not easy, is my point. Go, try and do it, and you'll see. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. If you want more of the warning, let me know what down in the comments below. And remember to like this video and to turn on the bell notifications so you can always stay up to date with all of our new uploads. Um, if you want to support us, super thanks down below if the video allows it or over on Patreon. You get to decide where this channel is headed and we get to have awesome conversations. Plus, you get access to all of our blocked uh, videos. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. I'll catch you in the next one. Salamat. Yeah.